Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. I have three Chardonnays uh, in front of me, well, actually to the side of me today, um, and I'm doing them in vintage order, uh, three different countries, um, three different vintages. Um, first one, Jura, uh, Champ Divin uh, Chardonnay, th 2013 from Jura, Fabrice et Valérie Closet, AOC Côte de Jura, let's give it a whirl. Now we're not far away from Burgundy here and I stick my nose in there and um, I get some of those, uh, what I call the salty floor-like characters of uh, Burgundian style uh, barrel ageing. So there's, um, there's some of the characters that are to do with fruit, there's a citrus and a very a just ripe pineapple character there, a little bit of hazelnut too. Um, but it feels like it's going to be poised and high cheekboned and uh, precise. That's what it is. I, I think that could, could give quite a few uh, Burgundian uh, Cote, Cote d'Or wine to uh, run for its money. It's got lovely um, citrus tension mixed in with um, uh, slightly riper, muskier uh, characters, but it all, all the way through there's this, um, no, I, I, I think they've, they've handled their barrel ageing really quite well there. I think that there is a, the, the, the notes of the élevage rather than the flavours of oak. So there's the softening out and there's this um, slight salty character of um, of the particular way they, 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 they age it. I imagine they'll, they'll have put it in, in a reasonably uh, old barrel and not done very much with it. So it's got, it's developed this nutty, salty, savoury, creamy character. It's, just goes on and on, a bit like me really, um, uh, but um, rather nice wine that. Huh? Let's try the second one. Uh, so this is Torres Gran Vigna Sol Chardonnay 2012 from Penedes. Uh, and this one's got 15% uh, of uh, Pareada, which is one of the uh, main grapes of uh, traditional Carver, the other two being Maccabeo and Sorello, I remember. Anyway, let's give this one a whirl. Well, it's only half a percent higher in alcohol, but maybe that with the extra year um, and certainly the warmer climate, it's giving uh, the impression of a fuller, richer, uh, maybe not as aristocratic wine, maybe not, the, the cheekbones are just a little, sagged a little. Doesn't feel like it's going to be flabby or anything, but um, uh, I don't think it's going to be quite as, um, yeah, finely chiselled as the previous one. Uh, Fruit-wise, it feels a little bit uh, richer, that slightly oily, tinned pineapples, rather than the fresh, just fresh pineapples on the previous one. And yes, quite a bit richer, and uh, I, I miss that little, that, that uh, no, that backbone, that spine of, uh, that upright aristocratic spine that was in the previous one. The flavours aren't flabby by any means, but they're, the, it, the, the richness, they're, their richness, that, that sort of nutty cashew mixing with the peach and the uh, pineapple, uh, is just, uh, just sagged a little. Mix it, it's the next to the other one, it just looks like it needs to go to the gym a bit more. Hey. Uh, final one, Sol de Sol 2010 from the Mayeco Valley in southern Chile. Well, not actually southern Chile, but yeah, at one point this was about as far south as uh, Chilean wine went, but um, I think there's a few people who planted uh, a bit further south than this now. Um, but 2010 vintage, um, and it's 12% alcohol compared with the previous two, which have been 13 and uh, 13 and a half. And it's strange, I smell, I, I stick my nose in, and I smell almost a bit of both. I smell the vintage, it feels like it's, um, it's um, the crispness of youth, um, or the, the fresh fruit flavours of youth are slighting, uh, slightly fading. Uh, but uh, I still feel that note of, um, uh, of acidity here. And I was talking about acidity on the, the Jura one. Here it feels just a little bit, um, I, I just wonder whether in trying to make something that was on the low alcohol side, maybe they picked it a little bit earlier before the flavours are fully developed. Better taste it though, hadn't they? Yeah, and it's, it's like there's an old bit and a young bit. The, the fruit has lost its perkiness of youth, um, but there's still the, 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 the acidity is still just like poking out a little bit more. Um, at one point this was the cutting edge of, um, of Chilean Chardonnay, probably about 15 years ago. Has it been going that long, maybe? But certainly uh, 10, 10 years ago. I think um, there, are, there are finer Chardonnays being made now in Chile. This is okay, uh, but um, the Jura one's my favourite of the, these three by a considerable margin. So I will go and see if I can find some suitable food with which to enjoy that. See you soon.